a metal cutting operation which is carried out in a machine shop. Chips are separated from the workpiece to impart the required size and shape to the workpiece. The type of chip edge formed is basically a function of the work material and the cutting conditions. The chips that are formed during metal cutting operations can be classified into four types. First, discontinuous or segmental chips. Second, continuous chips. Third, continuous chips with built up edge. And fourth, non homogeneous chips. Let's discuss them one by one. This figure here shows continuous chips coming out during machining in a machine shop. This type of chips are obtained while machining ductile material such as mild steel and copper. A continuous chip comes from the cutting edge of a cutting tool as a single one piece and it will remain as one piece unless purposely broken for safety or for the convenience in handling. Formation of a very lengthy chip is hazardous and undesirable to the machining process and it may also harm the machine operator. It may wrap up on the cutting tool, workpiece and interrupt in the cutting operation. Thus it becomes necessary to deform or break long continuous chips into small pieces. It is done by using chip breakers by the operator and hence chip breaker becomes an integral part of the tool design or for a separate device. This figure here shows a discontinuous chip coming out during machining. In this type of chip, the chip is produced in the form of small pieces. This type of chips are obtained while machining brittle material like cast iron, brass and bronze. Fairly good surface finish is obtained and tool life is increased with this type of chips. This figure here shows a continuous chip with built up edge. During cutting operation, the temperature rises and as that hot chip passes over the face of the tool, alloying and welting action may take place due to high pressure, which in turn results in the formation of weak bonds in microstructure and it weakens the particle. Owing to the high heat and pressure generated, these particles get welded to the cutting tip of the tool and form a false cutting edge. This is what we call a built-up edge.